I'm talking to you about stealing. Stealing is a universal offense and the staff is regulating them in different countries and different. In Nigeria, it's regulated by the Penal Code and the Criminal Code. Section 286 of the Penal Code creates the offense of theft. Section 287, 288, 289, and 290 of the Penal Code provides for punishments in different situations, which include theft in dwelling house, in chapter in vehicles, aircraft, and so on, theft by public servants, and the punishment ranges from five years imprisonment to seven years imprisonment, as contained the penal code. Now moving on, stay tuned please, like and subscribe to my channel as I talk about more on stealing. Now, in the criminal code, section 382 provides for things that are capable of being stolen. And what are the things that are capable of being stolen? They include things that are movable or that can be made to be movable. And this include and they include vehicles, animals, and every other thing that can be made movable or movable and owned by someone that can be stolen. Section 383 sub 1 of the criminal code also provides for the definition of stealing and it includes it provides a person who fraudulently takes anything capable of being stolen or fraudulently converts to his own use or to the use of another cap things capable of being stolen is said to steal that thing. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Welcome back to my little channel. From the definition of stealing, the actor's rears is taking or converting, and the men's rear is the intention to deprive the owner of its use or ownership. From section 3 to 3, sub 1, the actor's rears is taking or converting, and the men's rear is fraudulently intending to take or convert someone else's property. Now, the mere taking of a thing would amount to stealing. As reported in the case of R versus Taylor, Taylor is spelled T-A-Y-L-O-R, reported in 1911 1KB page 674. In that case, someone took something from someone's bag and the owner caught him and shouted and he dropped the book back into the bag. It was held to be stealing. Now, converting is converting someone else's property to one's own use or to the use of another. So, if, for example, someone takes someone's good or pretends that somebody, the owner of a good, sent him to go and collect it and then he collected it and converts it to his own use, he said to have converted that thing and held for stealing. That was the case of Oshinye. Oshinye is O S H I N Y E, which was Commissioner of Police reported in 1965 F S C at page 105. Now, the fraudulent intention, the mens rea, which is the element of stealing, is more inundated in the subsection 2 of section 383 of the criminal code. Please stay tuned. Welcome back to my law channel. Actors rails and men's rear are the general elements of crime and criminal law. Actors rails is the offense that is committed, the act code. And men's rear is the reason why committed it offense. It's the intention, the state of mind. Now, in stealing, the state of mind or mens rea was well explained in the situation. So the reason why someone still must fall within these following categories listed in section 383 subsection 2 of the criminal code applicable in Nigeria here. A. An intent to permanently deprive the owner of his property. In the case of R versus Isem reported in 1971 to all AR 945. A police woman went to a cinema. 
Yes, a policeman went to a cinema and dropped her bag on the floor. And somebody slipped and pulled out the bag on him with the intent to steal money, but found only cosmetics. He put the content back into the bag. He was held not to have the intention of permanently depriving her of her cosmetics because it was money he was taking. Also, an intent to permanently deprive someone of a special property in a property. For example, if you give a dress to a tailor to sew for you and you're supposed to pay an amount, and instead of paying that amount of money, you go and steal the dress from the dealer's place, you have permanently deprived the person of a special property or interest in that thing. An intent to use someone's property as a pledge of security. When you use someone's property as a pledge of security without the intention of paying back, it will amount to stealing. Or if you don't have a means to promise to do something like that, way. an intent to perform an act with the hope of performing an obligation or a duty and failing to do so. In the case of R. P. Sosoriso, reported in 1954, 14 Waka at page 455, somebody promised some person's American scholarship. He took money from them and he wasn't able to send them on the scholarship and he wasn't able to pay them back his money. He was held to have stolen. An intent to use someone's property without returning in the same condition. When, in the case of R versus Bailey, 19, reported in 1924, QWN at page 38, somebody took somebody's car and used it for three days. And there was a Hi. In the case of R versus Bailey, reported in 1924, QWN at page 38. Somebody took somebody's car and there was a gallon of petrol in it. He dropped the car for three days and returned the car and used up the gallon as well. He was held not to have stolen the car but converted the floor, therefore, thereby leaving the vehicle not in the same state as it was. Now, I'm going to be talking about punishment for. Stealing. Generally, the punishment is three years as provided for in the criminal code. Section 391 to 400 provides for situations in which the punishment may vary. Section 391 and 392, if you steal a testamentary document or things that has to do with the registry or something, or testament wills is 14 years imprisonment and then section 393 down to 400 provides for other forms of punishment for stealing now if you find a lost property and you can't find the owner it is okay for you to own the property however if the owner is close by it may not be okay for you to claim ownership of that property as was held in the case of R versus Bigger, reported in 1938, Four Waka at page 8. Restitution. The Criminal Justice Administration Act 2015 provides for restitution of stolen property. Section 340 down and section 341, 342 provides for restitution of stolen property found on a defendant which may be made by the order of court or refunded or money refunded to the owner if found by the accused person on apprehension. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. It's precious in the boy, a legal practitioner. I hope you have a nice day.